So what's going on, fellas? Appreciate y'all stopping in with Big Sammy here. Hey, so we're working on a 2007 PT Cruiser with the uh, 2.4 in it, naturally aspirated right now. Um, a little flip car here again. Uh, we're doing some plugs, wires, uh, O2 sensor. You can see them over there. Well, the old stuff anyway. Um, so we had a running rough on this truck, car, sedan, wagon, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> um, but we found out that it was out of time. Uh, previous owner put a new timing belt on it. New water pump, which was great, and uh, unfortunately he had some of the teeth off, and it wasn't running, and uh, he tried everything. I uh, don't even want to show you all the parts he's got, but he's got uh, O2 sensors. Man, let's look at it. Let's look at it. He's got a box of O2 sensors. He's got a box of, wait a minute, that's tools. Box of O2 sensors, computers, crank sensors. Cam sensors, man, he was at his wits in, you know, lots of bolts. But anyway, <clears throat> so checked it out, found out that it's uh, just a timing belt, but also when we got the timing belt out and we were running, uh, it was misfiring. So we looked at the plugs, and here you go, some plugs right here. They're not really, really bad, but uh, they're not really, really that great either. Um, the gap was wrong on them. You see the gap is wrong on them there. It's supposed to be 50 thousandths. So anyways, we changed out the new plugs. Got us some new plugs, new wires. We're going to put them on. New O2 sensor because the the uh, computer was saying that it's a bad O2 sensor upstream. So we're going to put that on. Yeah, so we got this done and we're getting ready. But I wanted to show you guys something. I don't know if you can see it. But there's a new O2 sensor sitting right back in there on top of the, before the cat, the upstream as they call it. But just for you guys that might be working on your own PT Cruiser, because I haven't seen a lot of videos here. Um, when you're looking and getting that in there, I bought this from AutoZone, uh, Advanced Auto. You can buy any of them wherever you're at, but it's actually a O2 sensor uh, I guess socket remover, <laughs> um, but it it's a it's a socket you wrap around there. It keeps your wire from getting pinched, and you get in there and you tighten it up. So, anyways, I hope that helps somebody. And uh, you know, yeah, I just figured I would send y'all a quick video. Um, also, when you're doing a PT Cruiser, and there's a lot of people that see this and know this, um, you are a PT Cruiser fan. You got to take the uh, plenum off, which is over here. And yeah, we got all kind of nice stuff here. Here's your plenum. We're putting a new bumper on it. Like I said, we're going to fix it up for the next fella. So they uh, so they get it, get a nice vehicle. Nice vehicle if you, uh, if you like a PT Cruiser, of course. Anyways, thanks for stopping in, guys. Like and subscribe and leave me a comment if you are uh, working on your own PT Cruiser. If you got any questions, we can uh, we can make another video to help you out or do something for you to, to try to make easy, things easy on you. All right. Peace.